je vais prier Antoinette de remettre à Madame Diffo, n'est-ce pas, le prix fermé. Et ensemble, on va découvrir, n'est-ce pas, le regagnant du Award Nelson Mandela 2018, décerné, n'est-ce pas, par la fondation de Nice Eleonora Fouretti. Bonsoir à tous. Okay. Je suis très honorée, très honorée d'être sélectionnée pour donner le nom de, de l'heureux élu. Et vraiment, que ce soit un modèle pour tout le monde, hein, moi y compris. Alors, le nom, c'est le docteur Barrister Congo Abdor Bala. Félicitations, Dr. Félicitations, Barista Abobala. Nous avons prévu, euh, à la suite de ceci, que le regagnant, le bénéficiaire, devait partager avec l'assistance et les membres de la formation son expérience pour nous enrichir davantage. Donc, vous, vous avez la parole pour nous édifier. Merci. Dear organizers, ladies and gentlemen, I grew up in what I describe as the ghettos of great support. And in growing up, I had neighbors and landlords from the northwest, the southwest, the west, the east, every part of this country. And I grew up knowing that living together with people that you might disagree with them. It's a way of life. I grew up knowing that fighting against injustice, fighting against suppression and marginalization is what I was supposed to do. I'm really honored to be here today as the main winner of the Mandela Award. But it's not an award that I would say it's just about me. It's an award that I will dedicate it to each and every one who has been fighting against injustice. Each and every one who has been fighting against hate speech. In a, each and every one who fights against the suppression and marginalization of a people, especially to the people of the Southern Cameroons, to the people who have been considered as terrorists. But today, <coughs> one of them who led a movement for change is being given an award. I want to seize this occasion to call on each and every Cameroonian that the problem in this country is not a problem against Francophones or Anglophones. It's not a problem against the Southwest and the Northwest. It's not a problem against the, um, the Basas, the Bamlikis, and the Wundos and Anglophones. But I think it's a problem against the institutions. The institutions of this country which have been used, which have been legalized and legitimized to oppress a particular group of people. As we celebrate the lives of Madiba, who epitomized peace and love, I crave the indulgence of each and every Cameroonian to show peace and love to each other. We need to talk. We need to dialogue. We need to negotiate. We might disagree without being disagreeable. We might fight, we might quarrel. But let peace and love reign. If peace and love reign in this country, we will not have what we're having today. I urge the government, seize this opportunity. Take the, 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 see what um, the president of Kenya did and his opposition, Ryan Odinga. Let them try to engage those who have taken up arms against the government to have a veritable negotiation and dialogue to find a lasting solution to the problems facing the Anglophones or the Southern Cameroonians in this country. And I call on the armed groups also. They should exercise restraint. Let us have a truce. Because without the truce, we cannot have any meaningful solution, any meaningful dialogue to the problems that we face as a people. We have 200,000 refugees. I mean, um, yeah, 50,000 refugees in Nigeria. 200,000 internally displaced. Lots of schools that have been burned. About 3,000 civilians there. About 150 
military officers came. We don't need it in this country. We need to move beyond war. I understand that people say there must be a conflict for a country to change. <laughs> but I said no. We have countries with, which well, they have not gone through a conflict. Peace should reign in this country. And as we celebrate the day, the life of Mandela, we should learn 27 years in jail, but he left and still preached peace and preached love. Eight months in jail is not enough for me to be bitter. It's not enough for me to hate my oppressors. Because if you are bitter, if you, if you hate the people who sent you in jail, you're not a free person. I dedicate this award to each and every one who stands against injustice. To the lawyers who defended us during the process at the military tribunal. To the members of the Faculty Rights Association, through whose organization I had to emerge in the national scene. To the Common Law Lawyers Association, the association that declared the first strike action in this country. I did it to them. To the entire people of the Southern Cameroons who have resisted oppression in spite of the difficulties, in spite of the repression of the leadership of this country, they have stood tall to say enough is enough. To those in the diaspora who have always been supportive of the struggle, I say thank you. To the international community who have supported the peoples of the Southern Cameroons, I say thank you. And to like minded Francophones who are also against injustice. We all are brothers. We are not adversaries. We all should join hands to fight against the repressive government in this country. When I look at this award, I think about that old lady who met me in court in one of my sessions. And she gave me 2,000 to buy water whilst I was going back to jail. I think of the young man I met a couple of days in Yaoundé, in a restaurant. And he said, Barista, can I have your number? He said, why do you need my number? I gave him my number, and he transferred me 2,000 francs to mobile money. This award is dedicated to you. And to those who always criticize me, I say thank you. You've made me stronger. You've made me a better person. I dedicate this award to those who also criticize me. Because if not of your criticism, perhaps I would have fallen by the way. And to all Cameroonians, I say thank you. Your trust, your belief in me shows that you've seen something in me. And I want to assure you that the struggle continues. That I'll never disappoint you guys. I'll never falter. We pray that the Almighty God should touch the lives and the hearts and minds of each and every Cameroonian so that we can have a peaceful, loving country. But a country that will respect each and every one. That will treat the people of Southern Cameroons as part of the country, each according to its means. We say no to tribalism. We say no to hate speech. We say no to the hate speech against the Northwesterners and the Southwest. We say no to hate speech against the Bamlikis and the Francophones. Let love reign. And to the organizers, to the founders, I say thank you. I'm honored. I wish. My parents were here to see the young man who grew up in great support, known as Abosho Boy, to be standing here today to win this award. I dedicate it to them also, that wherever they are, that the values, the ethics that they taught to me, that I will always live up to their high standards. And to all of you here today, I say thank you. Thank you.